this young girl in front of me. She had her head buried in front of this bloke's jacket. She could not breathe. I tried as much as I could. I couldn't even move my arms. Couldn't move my fingers. There was a gentleman on my, on my arm, and he said, you're choking me, you're choking me, and he just fell. I was crushed on a crash barrier. I had to lift six of my mates over the fence. They are actually saying it was an organisational fault. Yeah. Yeah. It was an organisation. There was, there was about three times as many people in there as there should have been. There were people at the front getting crushed and basically screaming to the stewards and the police to open the gates, and they were just looking and walking past. They just took a bit too long. So whose fault was it? I would blame the police for opening the doors.
No. Put it on the front, Mike. people who are here at the moment weren't working at the match, weren't part of the serial, and answered the call that went out to the local radio. Anybody here who's that to buy to? <coughs> Excuse me. Ask me things in that okay. thing. Can you tell us from the start what actually happened? Well, um, there was that many people getting rushed in at the, at the start of the thing. It, it was, it, it was um, impossible for people to be standing there anyway, and still getting crushed and moved forward through the police of rushing people in. So when you're in the, when you're in the ground, you can't even move because there's people that are getting crushed and the people, they wouldn't even help the people out. People of, of, of our own kind that's have ripped fences down to help people out. B busy strode around, police is what they're called, and let, like, let the police never even help people until it like, really had to, and people are, like, are all crushed, dying, through the people, the police are fucking rushing them in. You know what I mean? They're rushing them in to, to the, not to get them in fast enough, but they're just rushing them in, pushing people in, not even, like the ground is too small. But it, mate, too, the ground is too small for a start. The, in it, mate, the ground is well too small because the ground is like there was people even still outside when the, when the people was getting crushed. Thousands of people actually. Yes, yes, he's right. Do you think there were actually a lot of people outside there that had forged tickets? No, no, man. no, 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 no forged, forged tickets. He opened the no gates ten tickets. minutes before the kickoff. No, there's right, lad. There's right. The 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 ground the ten minutes right, before the kickoff and let everyone rush to the door. door. That's only out of end. Only a little out of order. It wasn't we got in the ground, supposed to do anything wrong. Right. The only gates ten we're minutes before the kickoff into the middle. The players right, just come in there and it's shut me away and saying, "How's it?" As soon as they all rushed through, they shut the gates behind them. Yeah. Totally out of order. Crushing in people in. Crushing everyone in went in. into the middle yeah. section Stop. rather than in the wings. In, oh, everyone was in B. You I got my tickets off the floor. I'm, I'm, I'm going down, down there tomorrow. I'm sitting down. They were standing up. They were sitting down. I'm going to go and watch them again at that ground. Come on. 
totally out of order. It's people dead. It's better, is you should be on the gate now, calling people coming out of the door who, who are, are responsible, you know, like the police and their uh, cluffies, boys and all that. Whoever, whoever sorted it out to run the cup match, the media, whoever, they should be done. Why did they, why did they sell so many tickets then? If it had grown that small? The answer will be though, there's a lot of forgeries knocking around. Nah, and there's people this is what they're saying, the but there was no forgeries. I never did. No the there's no organisation. No way, no the other side was empty. The side, the gate. The other side was empty. empty. People were suffocating. Hang on. People it's getting carried out, and there was no, and it was no organisation. The fence, they should have been brought up. People were trying to rip the fence up. Who and the police were trying to stop them. them. And the police would not... It was ridiculous. The police were not... Pushing pushing them back in. Did the you actually think at that stage back the, in. the police thought it was, was a riot? No, there was no riot. No riot. No riot. No riot. No riot. The behaviour of the Liverpool fans is brilliant. Not even a single punch was thrown. The behaviour of the Liverpool fans was immaculate. It could have been a lot worse. The only people who was calm and attentive, cardboard boxes and cardboard. They actually ripped the signs off the advertisements and carried them down. Listen, listen, just get one thing straight. There was no right there, all right. There was no right, no fighting, not just nothing, all right. All right. We were lifting people over the fences. They were getting crushed against the middle. I woke up on the other side. Why do you actually think it happened, in, in your opinion? There was too many people channeled into the middle. Yeah. That's exactly. There was, two, there was three wings, A, B and C. The middle bit, everyone was channeled into the middle. There was no people saying, get out to the right, get out to the left. Everyone went in the middle, right, and then you got crushed either against the side, against the front, or anywhere. You get crushed everywhere. I was crushed on a crash barrier. I had to lift six of my mates over the fence. As soon as you got through, you were actually saying it was an organisational fault. Yeah. Yeah. It was unorganisation. There was people in the middle. There was people in the middle in section B. There was about three times as many people in there as there should have been. So no, well, what are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? Just tell them. Oh, people were dying. We had to get out. 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 If you see a person dying, you're not going to stand there. You're trying to get him out, aren't you? I lifted a fellow over the railings. We got him on the other side, and he was getting his heart massaged. Yeah. Now, it was a horrible sight, horrible sight. Five minutes later, he was on the pitch and he was still getting his heart massaged. He was getting his heart massaged when we left. As far as I'm concerned, he was dead. There was a fella who just got carried out, flung on the pitch, just got left there. Five minutes later, someone went over to him, put his hand over his mouth, covered his head up. Like, everyone will have a go at the Forest fans, but like, the Forest fans didn't know what was going on. But after that, they realised what had happened. People had died. That's what you worried about. And they were good. But the police. The chairman of Liverpool FC told the FA it should have been held at Old Trafford after last year because there was enough was there was enough trouble after last year trying to people to get in. They said it should have been Old Trafford, and because Liverpool get forty thousand crowd average. I was in the West Stand, and I watched I watched twice from the toilets as the police opened the gates twice, and the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds in twice. When I took my seat, ten minutes later, the lad sat behind me and said he'd seen him again opening the gates and let people in without tickets. It was ten people around me with the whole ticket, the whole ticket. What I want to know is why the police have done that. Yeah. They were warned after last se last last season yeah, when we played them again. How the hell they let people that have a 17 aver 17,000 average home game yeah. have that many tickets when we have a 40,000 home game? That's How they do that, I do not know.
Just look at me, Keith. Yeah. Right Keith, I know it's distressing to talk about so soon, but what happened at the match? Well, it appears that there were a load of Liverpool supporters kept outside the ground, quite near to the kick-off time. So about 10 to 3, quarter to 3, there were a load of people still outside and obviously in their panic to come into the match thinking they were going to miss some, they all just moved forward quick and they wouldn't back up. So there were people at the front getting crushed and basically screaming because they, they couldn't breathe. And then they were screaming to the stewards and the police to open the gates and they were just looking and walking past. They just took a bit too long. Whereabouts were you at the time? Just behind the goal on so, the terrace. So what did you actually see as they were spilling over? 
Well, people were just crushing, and there was like there was a, a lad and his girlfriend, and they were just screaming that these words were, "Please God help me." And I believe the girl died. Her face was just blue. Um, Did you see many casualties yourself? Quite a few, some horrendous stuff. I mean, there were a couple dead, and there was people with blood coming from their mouths and things like that. Yeah line on the pitch it was just you know awful i mean did the fans know what was going on do you think they, they knew right away because people couldn't breathe at the front you know the, the chests were getting tighter they were saying i can't breathe and they were saying to the stewards and the police help you know open the gates as they got some gates at the front and uh, they did take, take a little bit too long they might have thought they were panicking but it was a bit frightening how, how did you get out yourself well in the end they just made them all do some of these stewards stood on the front barrier and said back up because there's people dying at the front so everybody just backed up so i got up you know off the terrace through the, the turnstile lucky to be out very lucky yeah thanks lucky <laughs> I seen people I dead. Was there. I was there and I was against the bar right at the front. And when I was at the bar at the front, there was people, there was a, there was a gentleman on my, on my arm and he said, you're choking me, you're choking me. And he just fell. Yeah. He just literally fell and that was the last of him. It was, it was, it was, it was. Do you think you're quite sort of lucky to get out? It must have been my lucky day today. Mm. Up there, someone's shining on me. Mm. But not them, unfortunately. So whose fault was it? I would blame the police for opening the doors. The fault was we weren't given the right end of the ground. That, that's the big fault. That's the fault. So too small a space too small, for the Liverpool Too many fans. people yeah. in it. Yeah. All right, thanks a lot. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Tim, you were with the Forest fans at the opposite end of the ground. What did you see at the Liverpool end? Well, as soon as they kicked off, you could see one or two people coming over the railings behind the goal. You could tell it was overcrowded from half an hour before kickoff. But then the more, pe more and more people started coming over, more and more, more and more. And even out of the stands where they were sitting down, they just spilled onto the pitch. We could see people lying down. And then we saw a policeman come onto the pitch and get hold of the referee, tell him something. Then they took the players away. Um, and then it was just one big blur. There were so many people and so many police around. They were drafting police in. Um, some of them started messing about and coming up the other end, trying to cause trouble. But generally, obviously, people were just concerned with people that were lying on the floor. You didn't know how badly hurt they were. Obviously, we was at the other end of the ground. We couldn't see. Did the Forest fans realise it was as bad as it obviously not is? Not at first, not at first. But uh, after that, obviously, who I was with, he had a pain in his chest from an operation he'd had anyway, so we had to take him out. And then the forest fans were helping the police and the first aid people with the stretches to get them into the ground. At first, we didn't realise how bad it was, but the more people that came on, they could see how bad it was. And what was the atmosphere like in the ground once people realised what really had happened? Everybody was crying, people were being ill. It was awful. I was sitting in the ambulance with my friend, and two people, well, four people were brought outside. They were dead in the stretches. It was, it was just sickening, people were screaming, then starting aggravated with the police because they wanted them to get moving quicker. It was, it was awful, absolutely awful. Thanks a lot, Tim. Okay. Thanks. <clears throat> On these people, just dead. They were purple. I'd never, ever seen anything like it. Couldn't understand it. And the police, they opened the gates without people without tickets, this was. They just opened the gates and they let these people in. And it was all thousands of people just running towards to get into this one stand. And it must have been, oh, it was just chaos. Right behind the goal, wasn't it? Yeah, right behind the goal. You could not move. I was about two foot off by my feet. And there was this young, and like I said, this young girl in front of me. She had her head buried in front of this bloke's jacket. She could not breathe. I tried as much as I could. I couldn't even move my arms. Couldn't move my fingers. I was dead all the way up my arms. It was incredible. 
and the police were standing there, couldn't do nothing about it. Yet the police let everybody in, and it took half an hour. You couldn't see the game. You couldn't see the game for people. Everybody's screaming. It was, it was horrible. <laughs> Great. Right.